Benny here, GhostPixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. It is Thursday, Thursday night football, Thursday night football Thursday. I'm excited, almost as excited as hitting about hitting that free pick on Wednesday, baby. Free pick winner for Benny on Wednesday. Let's get it. Got that energy back. Anyway, if you're new to my page, welcome to Team Benny, the people's champ. Benny Fonzarelli, Benny L. Scorcho, the Ben Dito, Ben Dito, uh, the Big Ben Dog. You can like it or love it. I'm still, I'm still Benny from the block. Everything Benny, Benny in the bets. Everything Benny you can think of. That's me. Let's roll, baby. If you're new to my page, welcome. Subscribe. Tap the bell right next to it. You'll get my videos as soon as they pop up. Head on over to Facebook. Head on over to Instagram. Type in Ghost Picks ATS and start following along over there. All five cappers over there. Free content daily. Free picks. Premium picks. Top tiers. You never know what you're going to get over there. I've dropped a couple top tiers over there. I've given a couple premiums. You know, we're always giving out stuff. I'm there on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Now, I woke up Wednesday and I said, no more. No more bad juju, no more negative energy. Win or lose on Wednesday, I'm coming with that energy. And you know what? I came out with that positive energy. I got a positive outcome, all right? Uh, let's build on that today, baby. Let's build on that for Thursday Night Football. How old do you think this hat is? Florida, 80s, 90s, I don't know. But anyway, let's build on that positive energy Let's try to get another win and build. So we took the Washington Wizards plus one and a half points versus Detroit Pistons in Detroit, and it came down to the end. It was indeed a winner. The Wizards looked good throughout the uh, 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 throughout the game. Then Detroit came back. John Wall had a good fantasy basketball night. So did Andre Drummond, uh, which which reminds me, big promo, Benny Ball so hard promo, Ball so hard. All right. $699.99 will get you NBA and college basketball, both full seasons combined. Both of them. Buy one, get one free. $699.99 gets you both. This promo runs up until tip-off on Tuesday. The NBA starts this Tuesday. And here's the deal. Uh, everyone who already hopped on my NBA full season before this promo, I'm throwing in college basketball with it. Uh, you're getting it, okay? So now you're getting NBA and college basketball $699.99. So if you paid for my MBA already, you're getting college basketball along with it. I will be throwing in the uh, daily fantasy basketball advice, and we can talk about daily fantasy basketball for anybody who likes to play DraftKings. I do play DraftKings. I, I, I know a little bit about FanDuel. I like to play DraftKings, but there will be advice involved um, if you hop on those season packages. Okay. Now, Free play was a winner on the Wizards preseason. Like I said, NBA, uh, it, it was a winner for the free play. It puts us at two and one for preseason NBA so far. Took a loss on the Spurs minus three. Trey Young with a near half court shot towards the end of the game. Hit for three. Um, Atlanta got the win. Now, let's build off of Wednesday's free pick and get another free pick winner for Thursday. We're going back to the NFL. Free play of the day, Thursday night football. We have a division matchup, NFC East division matchup between the defending Super Bowl champions, the two and three Philadelphia Eagles, heading to MetLife Stadium to face the one and four New York Giants, okay? This is what I'm putting my money on tonight. I'm putting my money on the New York Giants plus three points. Now, I know what you're thinking. Odell Beckham just called Eli out. We have some turmoil going on in the Giants locker room. Giants offensive line is no good. All that stuff. I know, I know what we're thinking. But I'm going to tell you a little rule I like to follow, or at least we'll keep this rule in mind when making picks in a division game in the NFL. It's not 100%. Nothing ever is in sports betting. This was told to me by an old head, a long-time sports better, a long-time gambler, an old head, a real deal old head, uh, sports better. He says, Benny, in the NFL, when two division rivals are playing each other and the home team is getting three points or more, we take the home team. Why? Because this is a division matchup. We can throw records and statistics right out the window here. 
We have two teams that know each other very well, and they play twice a year. So if the home team is getting three points or more, our smart money is going to go on the home team. I'll take that advice. I'll take that advice from an old head gambler. Here's some tidbits of info I'm going to throw out there, okay? Um, last year, the Eagles were 0-2 against the spread versus the Giants. Now, we do not bet this year's games based on last year's trends, but I am going to throw it out there, okay? Let's talk about this year, though, okay? <sighs> Eagles played two games on the road so far. Both games, they were minus three. They, they played against the Buccaneers on the road. They played against the Titans on the road. Lost both games outright, and they were minus three. The Eagles are actually 0-4 against the spread in their last four games. The Eagles haven't quite gotten it, gotten it going here yet, de defensively or offensively. The Eagles haven't topped 23 points at all this year in five, uh, all five games. All right, they, they just aren't quite where they want to be yet. They just lost J.H.I., Jai, which I do believe will, uh, 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 will help Wentz. Wentz will throw the ball around more now with the loss of Jay, uh, Jai. Uh, I do think the injury to Ajayi helps Wentz in fantasy football as well. Zach Ertz is back to being fantasy relevant as well. Wentz's favorite target now that Carson Wentz is back. Um, Carson Wentz is taking a lot of hits. Eagles are allowing contact, contact on the quarterback at the sixth highest rate in the league. Um, he's having to get rid of the ball a little quicker, which is making for less deep shots down the field. Giants secondary is not awful. Their defense as a whole is not awful. The Giants secondary is not playing too, too bad here. All right. So we will see how that plays out. We'll see if Wentz gets back on track as far as the top QB this week. Let's talk about uh, 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 not even close to a top five QB in Eli Manning. I know. Two-time Super Bowl champ. New York. If you're New York fans watching this, I got much love for Eli. But, but that, those Super Bowls were long ago. We're talking about Eli right now. Okay. Odell just called him out. Will it hurt? Will it help? I don't know. Eli played his best game last week, by sure, for sure. The Giants are coming off their best game as a team last week, where they lost to the uh, the Carolina Panthers with a 63-yard field goal. Okay, so far they have played some very tough teams. The Giants have played some very tough teams. They played the Jaguars, they played the Saints, they played the Panthers. These teams are no joke. Okay, three of the four Giants, three of the four losses by the Giants have been by seven points or less. And honestly, if they can pull off a win here at, uh, at home against Philly, they're right back into the swing of things. They'll be two and four. The Eagles will be two and four. Uh, the NFC East is kind of weak right now. It's looking very weak. Um, this is a short week. This is a division game. These are two teams that know each other very well going at it, okay? Saquon for the Giants has been balling. Fantasy football stud, all right? Odell had a big game last week. Evan Ingram is looking to be back out there on Thursday as well. I mean, I don't, I don't think the Giants... I do think the Giants have the potential to, to actually get on a roll. Um, I don't know if they're going to start clicking this week or when they're going to start clicking, but it look, kind of looked like they started clicking offensively Last week, they put up over 30 points. Like, I don't know if it's going to start tonight, but there's definitely a chance. Both of these teams are really in need of the win. Um, I expect them to battle hard. Eagles have won seven of the last eight games versus the Giants, and I'm not saying they won't win this one, but I am saying that I'm going to place a bet on the Giants plus the three points. That's the Benny play of the day. Giants plus the three points. Hey, if you guys uh, want to hop on any of my premiums, this is what I'm offering, okay? Finishing the video with this because this is the way we're going to finish. We're going to finish 2018 with Benny. This is the finish 2018 with Benny promo. What I'm offering is this, $500. $500 flat gets you every single play I put out from now until the ball drops in New York City on New Year's Eve, and we can all celebrate celebrate 2018 together, Benny style, okay? And then we'll get ready for 2019. Email me at benny.ghostpicksats at gmail.com or hit the website, Two Big Bro Promos. Ball so hard gets you NBA and NCAA $699.99. And then the end of the year with Benny, $500 flat. Let's get it. As always, good luck. God bless. Grind on. Cheers.